It's March 13th, 2022. Um, for Jew Noir uh, and Saint Noir, there's some, they say there's truth and reality and some of the fakeness. I mean, for me, I'm looking at some of the fakeness they built, like the only king that I would ever agree to is like someone who looks like mirror secured genetics, <laughs> right? It's definitely not what they have calling themselves in word patterns in uh, North America at the moment. Uh, there's some reference here to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now, I don't know if they're trying to spin and spoof and copy of imprints, I-M-P-R-I-N-T-S, but they're not my imprints. They're not my understudy. They're not my imprints. I don't know how this got started. Um... There is a King Richard that they uh, have formulated somehow in baby formula. Um, and they're with a Gale King who does not look Gaelic whatsoever. Not garlic, not Gaelic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And so they're here in North America and promoting themselves with this big campaign of K-I-N-G along with a whole lot of other stuff. Um, and at the same time, I've got iodine on my nose today, by the way. It's an antiseptic and an anti... Uh, and it's a germicide. So now, um... I'm watching this come on today. Um, and it makes reference with Philadelphia. Now, I don't know if that's, like, a thing about the ship that went invisible for a moment and then became visible and everybody got stuck in the walls. Like, in vents. Yeah, it seems like they're stuck in the vents of what I needed in Classified to stay quiet. It's all over the media with their fingerprints on it. So now, how do I report that in El Capitan? I'm just curious at, I love one king, and I don't see a sign of him anywhere to be found. Mark King was here when I was little, but he didn't look anything like this. So now here we are. No, but Will Smith is a pretty good instructor. There you go. Okay, okay. Serving up tips. A little, more, a little more flex in your knees. Okay. All right, it's all fun and games, so someone loses an eye. And quips. Are you distracted by my beauty? I'm the yeah, lost yeah, I'm, eye. You know, it, it's like the sunshine. I'm just like, <laughs> you're just bringing the sunshine to the car. Beautiful, beautiful. Smith picked up a racket for his latest film, King Richard. He picked up a racket. That racketeering case, I'm just curious at mobs, mentalities, and Minutemen. In the Oscar-nominated performance, the most powerful, the most dangerous creature on this whole earth. He plays the father of Venus and Serena Williams. It's a woman who know how to think. Ain't nothing she can't do. Y'all know how to think? Yes, Daddy. Determined to turn his daughters into champions on and off the court. For many people, it didn't seem that Richard Williams knew what he was doing. He wasn't doing what people thought he was doing. <laughs> he didn't give a damn about tennis. <laughs> no, he did he, he was He was trying to build his family. Right? He was using tennis to cultivate his family to... Oh, is that so? Thank you for that piece of intel. I'm sure Oscar Mayer and the Baconeers or the Baconettes would love to hear that. 
to, culti to cultivate values. My grandfather used to feed me frozen bacon, and it was the Oscar Mayer kind, and sometimes it was direct from the pork store. My, my aunt, Vicky Vittoria Di Filippo, would feed me triangle chicken squares. They started off as squares, then they became a triangle. Just be representing you. You're gonna be representing every little black girl first. At 53, Will Smith knows a lot about value. He is a global superstar, selling millions of albums, billions at the box office, conquering the big screen. I make this look good. Small screen. It is gonna be hard to curb the enthusiasm after global superstars are created. My God, King Richard and the Nuovo Riche. And now is a best-selling author. Make no mistake, this memoir is not sugar-coated. My suffering. It doesn't look, I mean, his suffering, he's sitting in a rose garden eating off of, like, really fine china while I've got radiological poisoning and I'm putting iodine on my wounds and my nose and half of Ukraine is all bombed up. Is he for real with his suffering? So did his love of hip-hop. You said you did your first rap at 12. Do you kind of remember what it was? At the age of one, I had just begun on my journey to the T.O.P. And at the age of two, everybody knew I was a hell of a huh, MC. I actually wrote the huh. I was <laughs> <laughs> on the way to the T.O.P. To the T.O.P. You know, parents all the same no matter time or place. He would reach the top and then some. So to you other kids all across the land, there's no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. First in rap. Now this is a story all about how. Then as the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That girl was so dumb, uh -huh. it took an hour to cook minute rice. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. New to acting, Smith would memorize the lines of the entire cast, something he now laughs about today. She was so ugly that Freddy Krueger used to have nightmares about her. <laughs> Did you look at that and go, ooh, rookie mistake? I was like, that dude's an awful actor. He's not going to amount to anything in this business. Awful <laughs> actor, he's not going to amount to anything in this business. <laughs> but he did. Now, here's a parallel, because this was the house on the show, but it kind of, sort of, now that you know that Obama, like, totally broke in and squatted in the United States' most sacred sanctuary... It kind of is a premonition almost, looking back in retrospect in hindsight, because I know there's people around the world that do know that that's what they thought this was in some rumor mill that exists, and I don't know how to find them. And here we are. He did. It's Let's always go crazy. Go Let's always go crazy. to the house. Yeah. All these years later, the house is still fresh. So are the lyrics. In West Philadelphia, born... West Philadelphia. Now, meaning that they've pointed that out to me on Sunday morning, which usually means it's something I should look into. I'm going to have to go back through my American Re Revolutionary War papers. They just handed me at the age of 43 on 43rd Avenue um, with seven articles to look for references to Philadelphia, as well as the unrest in the American colonies to see exactly who's responsible, if I can figure it out on key up words. Born and raised. So on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing. Relaxing all, cooling all. <laughs> okay, okay, girl. Next line is shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Smith could have stopped with a hit TV show, but that wasn't part of the plan. You were asked... Whose plan? You were asked, what do you want out of mm -hmm. this career? And you said you want to be... The biggest movie star in the world. 
Smith's dream came true with a string of blockbusters. I want to know who's investing in the breakdown of North America because there's a whole lot of investing, it feels like, away from rock wall and paper that the scissor committee that looks over all of humanity in genetic safety needed to keep quiet and classified rather than having some disgusting drama play out in some fun Candyland method, the new rich in the wrong king on the calendar, the only one that North America uses, being portrayed and painted in all wrong everywhere. Did nobody notice some problems come like arriving? Now this is interesting. Here's commercials mimicking some of the patient's symptoms. I had leg pain just walking the dog, but I didn't wait. I could have put off telling my doctor my leg was red and swollen just doing the crossword, but I didn't wait. Now there's something that's all over the TV calling itself a chief equity officer that looks very much like her practicing medicine inside New York City limits. I don't know who gave it such authority. Doesn't have my permission for sure. The Rock Wall, the Washington White House. There's a lot of like really serious concerns going on with security and aiding and abetting and growing domestic terrorists and allowing them to collect biological information and research and have time and facilities and hospitals and equipment is not exactly a good idea, according to, like, every big brother I've ever never met. They told their doctors and found out their symptoms, like pain, swelling, and redness, were deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot, which could travel to the lungs and lead to a pulmonary embolism. But not always. See, again, twisting the facts here, but that's what's been going on. (laughs) Here's another telling commercial. Thanks for coming. Now, when it comes to a financial plan, this broker is your man. Let's open your binders to pay for... Now here, let's see. No time to wait. DVTPE. We've got things I've never heard of. But I know someone has. The PERT Consortium, under some environment of Bristol, Myers, Squibb, and Pfizer. It's NATF. Alliance for Aging Research, Anticoagulation Forum, ABC, Association of Black Cardiologists. Really? And functioning in what area? The ISTH, the PCNA, the PPAHS, the AAFP, the Mended Hearts, Inc., National Blood Clot Alliance, and PERT Consortium. Parents to this, I would think, or something Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer, because that's the part at the bottom. And then these are all of the whatever in the center of the problem. Gotcha, doctor. This is no time to wait. This is Maya Titan. She's smiling because her small culinary supply store, Titan's Pans, is up and running. And this is NFL star Derrick Henry accidentally tagging Titan's. Oh my god, and there we are again with these sports guys who get like all this merchandising and sponsor crap. Yeah, I really, I mean, there's a lot of incentive to like cause trouble and just grow one way in a place that, I mean, like, there's a door open. I don't know who opened it. His fans instead of his loyal fans. 
which very unexpectedly has her business trending and trending. I'm just curious because um, this area in North America, New York, in my personal household, all in its brokenness, has this saying like March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. Hmm. That's interesting. It's an outgoing lamb, did you say? I just want to make sure I have that clear. And trending. And oh my. And there goes the internet. Good thing my... And there goes the internet. Wow. It is so nice when they put things up to paint what they've been up to in dirty, dirty deeds. Well, I've just been abused and microwaved into the size of a gigantic piece of popcorn. Uses FedEx to help prepare for unexpected demand because you never know what's next. Who said you have to starve yourself to lose weight? Oh, and now they've fattened the lot of North Americans and they've come out with a magical pill. They've done this before. Like I've ordered, when I started gaining weight, I ordered some kind of herbal supplement, said it would help with weight loss. I tried it, never worked. But now it's coming through the pharmacy companies of drug pushers, um, trying to cater to the people who are being punished for things they probably didn't do, but nobody seems to be watching. Who said you can't do dinner? Who said only this is good and this is bad? I'm doing it my way. Meet Plenity, an FDA-cleared, clinically proven weight management aid for adults with a BMI of 25... See, the problem with hospitality industry is, like, they're constantly looking for ways to capitalize on your pain and your sorrow and all your problems. So on the one hand, they need you to be broken, but on the other hand, you make them a lot of money, so they'll just never really fix anything. So now, here we are at, like... They need restaurant patronage, like, up, but then the people put on a lot of weight. They don't, they have these unhealthy lifestyles, right? Yeah, then they would go from hospitality, where they were able to go on vacation, spend all their money, and they could bankrupt them at the casinos, and then they go into the hospital, 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 and then they just drain whatever else is there, and you die painfully by yourself with something you never saw coming. Like, that's how humanity's been running this disgusting arrangement. I really never wanted to participate. I just can't find the exit door to get away from them. Five to 40 when combined with diet and exercise. Plenity is not a drug. It's made from naturally derived building blocks and helps you feel full. And then the worst is they've got all of these doctors on some kind of incentive plan to write you mental disease and participation requirements to break your body. And then they've got colleagues that stand up in their defense in malpractice suits. So they just keep on existing in this format, which is really very foul. But, and I don't know why it doesn't just get shut down and, like, somebody build the world the correct way. Feel fuller and eat less. It is a prescription-only treatment and is not for pregnant women or people allergic to its ingredients. Talk to your doctor or visit MyPlanity.com to learn more. It happened last week. The discovery of a long-lost treasure of the deep. Nearly two miles below the surface of the icy well... Now, here's the thing. I don't know how honest they're being with the parents in these school districts because I don't participate. I haven't been called upon to participate. I don't have the same situation going on. I mean, on one hand, I do. I have a lot of unwelcomed other country people that just arrived that I don't want my kid going to school with and hasn't helped the education situation. And I don't know what problems they're bringing in with them. I mean, other than just like seems replacing 
my son in a whole nother generation of, like, where's the good in the world? I'm just curious, because I can't find it in New York. Um, and so, like, the parents are going to these, like, there's this one guy, they're like, oh my god, he became, like, the punching bag. Yeah, well, here's the thing, kiddo. Um, in your, like, school chancellor job, uh, since you got to, like, a place I could never reach in this lifetime based on the level of oppression I was sat on with, um, if in, like, this civil rights movement that they lied about my entire life, um, where they were slaves and there was lynching and, like, all this stuff that nobody can verify. Um, but they've got pictures, but they can't tell you what part of the world those pictures are from. Nobody will authenticate them. Not anybody in, like, the important seats. So, now, I'm just curious. Um, when they told back in the day, like, maybe a generation or two ago... The schoolhouses are not built with their ancestors' money. They're here illegally. Lincoln's work for the seasonal workers ended, and they need to vacate off these lands because we have to protect the children, the schoolhouses, what was built, what the money was used to build, and so on and so forth. I'm just curious, being that I'm inside this Lincoln's dilemma at a really sensitive spot, uh, in New York, I'm just curious, uh, why do new seasonal workers keep arriving, dirtying up the schools and bringing in new germ warfare, and all of their countrymen, who's inviting them, who opened that door, and why, Chancellor of this school, when the mom says that she's not okay with this, like, I know, you don't want to be the one to hear it and all beat up, but why don't you come from the part of, like, there's some people that just don't belong, and if we could just get them out of the school district, the mask thing really wouldn't be a thing anymore, because 